I am moved and very happy to see you here in Burkina Faso. Since the SNC events, it is more than a pleasure that you chose to come here to Burkina. They surely told you that it is an unvisitable country, they told you that it's death here, it's war, there is only negative things, and Burkina is called black. That here, only blood and weapons flow, that's what is said elsewhere. Has anyone ever praised and set African leaders as role models? Recently, Ibrahim Traoré, the dynamic leader of Burkina Faso, has been celebrated and called a role model by none other than King Mohammed VI of Morocco. The king praised Traoré, expressing Morocco's eagerness to work closely with Burkina Faso. But what exactly did Traoré do to earn such high praise? And what could this mean for the future ties between Burkina Faso and Morocco? Let's find out. Thank God you arrived safely, you were able to be in Bobo Dulasso, you've lived with us, our culture, is what binds us Africans. You were able to commune with many other nationalities who came to celebrate with us. Everything went very well, now you are in Ouagadougou, and I hope that you are very well received, very well housed and that you managed to commune with your brothers here. This is an important message that you are sending to everyone, and now you will be the ambassadors of this message when you are at home. That Burkina is very friendly, we live in Burkina Faso. What they want to make people believe is not Burkina. King Mohammed VI of Morocco has formally expressed his support for Ibrahim Traoré, the president of Burkina Faso, marking a significant development in African diplomacy. This remarkable endorsement was communicated through the King's ambassador during the Morocco-Burkina Faso Joint Cooperation Commission session on June 9. Co-chaired by Morocco's Minister of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation, and Moroccan expatriates, Mr. Nasser Bourida, and Burkina Faso's Foreign Minister, Ms. Olivia Rwamba, the session highlighted the strong partnership between the two nations and their mutual commitment to advancing South-South and intra-African cooperation. But what led to the King of Morocco's enthusiastic endorsement of Ibrahim Traoré? To grasp the importance of this approval, we need to delve into the historical context of Morocco-Burkina Faso relations and the broader African diplomatic landscape. Historically, Morocco and Burkina Faso have enjoyed a relationship built on mutual respect and cooperation. This relationship is anchored in shared values and a common vision for Africa's future, emphasizing unity and collective progress. Morocco has long championed South-South cooperation, advocating for stronger ties among African nations to address common challenges. This vision aligns perfectly with Burkina Faso's aspirations under President Ibrahim Traoré, who has been a vocal advocate for regional integration and cooperation. The King's endorsement can be seen as a recognition of Traoré's efforts to promote stability and development in the Sahel region, a critical area for both nations. The Sahel region, plagued by extremism and instability, has been a focal point for international and regional efforts to restore peace and development. Morocco's strategic interest in the Sahel is evident through its diplomatic and economic initiatives aimed at fostering stability. The endorsement of Traoré underscores Morocco's commitment to supporting leaders dedicated to these goals, reinforcing the idea that African solutions are essential for African problems. The significance of King Mohammed VI's endorsement extends beyond bilateral relations. It exemplifies Morocco's proactive approach to supporting African leadership and initiatives. The Sahel Alliance, championed by Traoré, is a critical framework for coordinating efforts to address the region's multifaceted challenges. By endorsing Traoré, King Mohammed VI highlights the importance of collaborative efforts and shared responsibility among African nations. This historic endorsement also reflects a broader trend in African diplomacy, where regional powers are increasingly taking on leadership roles to address continental issues. Morocco's endorsement of Traoré sends a clear message to the international community about the importance of African-led solutions. It emphasizes the need for external partners to respect and support the leadership and initiatives emerging from within Africa. Now how does this endorsement impact the political dynamics in the Sahel region? 
the endorsement of Ibrahim Traoré by King Mohammed VI carries significant political implications for the Sahel region. The Sahel, stretching across the width of Africa, has been a hotspot for extremist activities, political instability, and economic challenges. The support from Morocco, a stable and influential North African country, adds a new dimension to the regional dynamics. Politically, it strengthens Traoré's position both domestically and internationally. It signals a vote of confidence in his leadership and his approach to addressing the challenges facing Burkina Faso and the broader Sahel region. For Morocco, this move solidifies its role as a key player in African diplomacy, leveraging its political and economic influence to promote stability and cooperation. Domestically, Traoré's leadership has been marked by efforts to unify a diverse and often divided nation. His administration has focused on addressing internal security issues, fostering economic development, and promoting social cohesion. The endorsement from Morocco bolsters his legitimacy and provides a strong foundation for his continued efforts to govern effectively. It also serves as a reminder to domestic actors of the international support and recognition Traoré enjoys, which can help in rallying broader support for his policies and initiatives. Internationally, the approval elevates Traoré's stature among African leaders and on the global stage. It aligns with Morocco's broader foreign policy objectives of strengthening intra-African ties and promoting regional stability. By endorsing Traoré, King Mohammed VI sends a clear signal of solidarity and mutual support, which can influence other nations to follow suit and support Burkina Faso's efforts to address its challenges. Moreover, this endorsement highlights the potential for stronger intra-African alliances that transcend regional boundaries, fostering a sense of unity and collective responsibility. As African nations navigate the geopolitical landscape, endorsements like this can serve as catalysts for deeper cooperation and mutual support. But what are the economic implications of the Morocco-Burkina Faso alliance? The economic dimension of the Morocco-Burkina Faso relationship is crucial in understanding the broader implications of this endorsement. Both countries have expressed a strong commitment to enhancing bilateral cooperation, particularly in economic and commercial spheres. This partnership is rooted in the belief that economic development is essential for achieving lasting peace and stability. Morocco's endorsement of Traoré is likely to open new avenues for economic collaboration. Morocco, with its diverse and growing economy, can provide valuable support to Burkina Faso in various sectors such as agriculture, transport, and infrastructure. The joint communique from the Morocco-Burkina Faso session highlighted several key areas of cooperation, including security, training, agriculture, food safety, water, and health. For Burkina Faso, this partnership offers opportunities to leverage Morocco's expertise and resources to drive economic growth and development. The emphasis on South-South cooperation highlights the importance of building resilient economies that are interconnected and mutually supportive. By enhancing economic ties, both countries can work towards reducing poverty, improving living standards, and creating sustainable development pathways. One of the key areas of focus for this economic cooperation is agriculture. Burkina Faso, with its vast arable land and agricultural potential, stands to benefit significantly from Morocco's experience and technology in this sector. Collaborative efforts can lead to improved agricultural practices, increased productivity, and enhanced food security. Morocco's support in developing sustainable agricultural systems can help Burkina Faso achieve self-sufficiency and boost its agricultural exports. Infrastructure development is another critical area where this partnership can yield significant benefits. Morocco's advanced infrastructure capabilities, including transport and logistics, can help Burkina Faso improve its connectivity and access to regional and international markets. Investments in infrastructure projects such as roads, railways and ports can facilitate trade and commerce, driving economic growth and development. In the domain of health and education, the partnership between Morocco and Burkina Faso can lead to improved healthcare services and educational opportunities. Morocco's expertise in healthcare delivery and medical training can support Burkina Faso in enhancing its healthcare infrastructure and providing better services to its population. Similarly, educational exchanges and collaborations can contribute to capacity building and human resource development in Burkina Faso. 
The endorsement of Traoré by King Mohammed VI also signals a commitment to promoting inclusive and sustainable economic development. Both nations recognize the importance of addressing social inequalities and ensuring that economic growth benefits all segments of society. This shared vision can guide their collaborative efforts to create opportunities for marginalized communities, promote gender equality, and foster social inclusion. How will this endorsement impact security and stability in the region? Security is a critical concern for both Morocco and Burkina Faso, particularly in the context of the Sahel region. The endorsement of Ibrahim Traoré by King Mohammed VI sends a strong message about the importance of regional cooperation in addressing security challenges. Both nations have reiterated their commitment to maintaining peace and stability on the African continent, with a particular focus on the Sahel. Morocco has been actively involved in efforts to combat extremism and promote stability in the Sahel. This includes providing training and support to security forces, as well as engaging in diplomatic initiatives aimed at conflict resolution. The approval of Traoré aligns with Morocco's broader strategy of supporting regional leaders who are committed to these goals. For Burkina Faso, this brings tangible support in the form of security cooperation and resources. The shared commitment to combating extremism and addressing humanitarian challenges highlights the importance of collective action. By working together, Morocco and Burkina Faso can enhance their capabilities to address security threats, protect their citizens, and promote a stable and prosperous region. One of the key aspects of this security cooperation is capacity building. Morocco's experience and expertise in security training can help strengthen Burkina Faso's security forces and enhance their ability to respond to threats. Joint training programs, intelligence sharing, and operational support can improve the effectiveness of security operations and enhance regional security cooperation. In addition to military cooperation, the partnership between Morocco and Burkina Faso can also focus on addressing the root causes of insecurity. This includes promoting economic development, improving governance, and addressing social inequalities. By tackling the underlying factors that contribute to instability, both nations can create a more conducive environment for peace and stability. Humanitarian challenges are another critical area where this partnership can make a significant impact. The Sahel region has been affected by displacement, food insecurity, and other humanitarian crises. Morocco's support in addressing these challenges can provide much-needed relief to affected communities and contribute to the overall stability of the region. What does the future hold for Morocco-Burkina Faso relations and regional cooperation? Looking ahead, the endorsement of Ibrahim Traoré by King Mohammed VI sets the stage for a new era of Morocco-Burkina Faso relations and broader regional cooperation. This partnership, grounded in mutual respect and shared goals, has the potential to drive significant progress in various areas, from economic development to security. One of the key areas of focus will be the African Continental Free Trade Area AFCFTA, which aims to create a single market for goods and services across the continent. Both Morocco and Burkina Faso have expressed their commitment to this initiative, recognizing its potential to boost economic growth and development. By working together, they can play a leading role in shaping the future of intra-African trade and cooperation. The endorsement also highlights the importance of African leadership and solidarity in addressing the continent's challenges. It serves as a reminder that African nations can and should support each other in their efforts to achieve peace, stability, and development. This spirit of cooperation and unity is essential for overcoming the complex and interconnected issues facing the continent. In economic development, the prospects for Morocco-Burkina Faso relations are promising. The partnership can lead to increased trade and investment, creating new opportunities for businesses and driving economic growth. By leveraging their respective strengths and resources, both nations can achieve sustainable development and improve the well-being of their populations. Security cooperation will continue to be a priority, with both nations committed to addressing the security challenges in the Sahel region. The endorsement of Traoré by King Mohammed VI reinforces the importance of regional cooperation in combating extremism and promoting stability. By working together, Morocco and Burkina Faso can enhance their capabilities to respond to security threats and create a safer environment for their citizens. 
The partnership also holds potential for collaboration in other areas such as education, healthcare, and environmental sustainability. Educational exchanges, joint research initiatives, and healthcare collaborations can contribute to capacity building and human resource development. Environmental sustainability efforts can address the challenges of climate change and promote sustainable development. In the past, we have seen that African nations are not often promoted. Does this support for Traoré show he is one of the best leaders Africa has ever had? They draw to get people to flee Burkina, and they depict all of Africa like that. For them, Africa is misery. Africa is famine. Africa is war, but it's them who are responsible for this war. We need to unite but they have always been there to divide us, to be able to reign on us through slavery. Our ancestors experienced it, and until today, we have it fed up in our flesh, but it continues. The endorsement of Ibrahim Traoré by King Mohammed VI of Morocco indeed highlights Traoré's potential and leadership qualities. King Mohammed VI's endorsement is symbolically significant. It underscores Traoré's growing recognition and support among influential African leaders. This endorsement can be seen as a testament to Traoré's efforts in promoting regional stability and economic development and fostering cooperation among African nations. It signifies trust and confidence in his leadership capabilities and his vision for Burkina Faso and the broader Sahel region. Traoré has demonstrated strong leadership in a region facing numerous challenges, including extremism, political instability, and economic difficulties. His proactive stance on regional cooperation and development, coupled with his efforts to address internal security and promote social cohesion, has earned him respect both domestically and internationally. This kind of recognition from a prominent figure like King Mohammed VI adds weight to his leadership credentials. But what did he do that showed he was one of the best leaders? Since taking office, Ibrahim Traoré has been vocal about his vision for Burkina Faso and Africa. He has emphasized the need for African nations to become self-sufficient, particularly in food production. Traoré criticizes the reliance on foreign aid and has called out what he terms beggary by African leaders at international forums. This stance reflects a desire to break away from dependency and promote self-reliance, a crucial step towards sustainable development. Traoré's criticism of foreign aid dependency highlights his commitment to economic independence. During the Russia-Africa summit in July 2023, he expressed gratitude for Russian assistance, including the provision of free grain, while also pointing out the paradox of a wealthy continent plagued by poverty. This dual approach of acknowledging immediate needs while advocating for long-term self-sufficiency demonstrates a balanced and strategic perspective on development. Traoré's leadership has drawn comparisons to Thomas Sankara, a revered figure in Burkina Faso known for his progressive policies in the 1980s. Sankara was celebrated for his anti-imperialist stance, focus on self-sufficiency, and efforts to combat corruption and improve public health and education. Traoré's policies and rhetoric echo Sankara's vision, promising to tackle issues like food insecurity and striving for a more autonomous and prosperous Burkina Faso. In a complex geopolitical landscape, Traoré has sought new alliances, notably with Russia. His approach to international relations reflects a pragmatic understanding of the need for diverse partnerships to navigate ongoing conflicts and economic challenges in the region. By building alliances with various global powers, Traoré aims to enhance Burkina Faso's strategic position and leverage international support for national development. Traoré has initiated programs aimed at boosting local agricultural production to reduce dependency on food imports. These initiatives focus on improving farming techniques, increasing access to agricultural inputs, and promoting sustainable farming practices. His administration has implemented economic reforms designed to create a more favorable environment for local businesses and attract foreign investment. These reforms aim to diversify the economy, reduce unemployment, and stimulate economic growth. Traoré has also prioritized improving security in Burkina Faso, a region often troubled by extremism and political instability. Strengthening the military and collaborating with international partners for security assistance is part of his strategy to ensure stability and safety for citizens. 
Recognizing the importance of infrastructure for economic development, Traoré's government has embarked on projects to improve transportation, energy, and communication networks. These efforts are crucial for facilitating trade and improving the quality of life for the population. This is the reason why he is getting approval from leaders like the King of Morocco. Do you think Traoré is the best leader Africa has had in years? What are your thoughts on him? Do you like him? Let us know in the comment section. Should more leaders follow his footsteps? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If so, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.